Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm a registered physiotherapist. Welcome to this exercise program to release tension around the upper back shoulder blades and lower back and hips using some soft ball rolling. I'll be using a soft air filled ball today. This is just a, a dollar store variety, but you could find a more therapy grade ball. You want something that's about eight to 10 centimeters in diameter and that has air in it so that it is rolling nicely across your body. You would want to wear thin clothing or have the ball directly against your skin. For this one today, we're gonna to be doing it standing at the wall. There's a little bit less pressure when you're standing versus lying down, so that might be more suitable for you uh, or more comfortable of a position. I've got my two balls placed together inside of a stocking, and then you can tie off the ends so that you have two tails. If you come towards your wall, you can position your ball behind your back, maybe at your upper back, kind of between the shoulder blades, let that kind of land. And then take a few, uh, a little small step away from the wall and let your body rest against it. Take a moment just to breathe, maybe directing your air into your lungs, your rib cage, into that space between your middle, middle back, between your shoulder blades where those balls are and relaxing any unnecessary tension, letting go of any tension around the shoulders, letting your shoulders relax down. And then with your breathing, you're gonna move slowly to roll the ball. Breathing in, sliding down, and out, coming back up. You wanna have consistent pressure against the ball so it doesn't slide. And then your stocking, if it's uh, not too slippery, will be a bit more tacky against your skin. And you're using your breath to kind of keep the muscle tension relaxed and to pace the exercise so you're not rushing through it. That's good. And you're only covering a few centimeters area. After, you know, five to 10 passes, whatever feels best for you, you can always move the ball to a different area, a little lower or a little higher. And again, let yourself sink rest into the ball. Maybe taking a few breaths into your back, into your ribs where you feel the ball, that light pressure. And then with your breathing, start to roll by moving your body slowly. Breathing in and out. And just try to keep some consistent pressure of your body against the balls at the wall. Good job, let's do one more. And then you can bring the, the um, set a little bit lower. You can align it just below your um, SI joints, kind of around the triangle of the tailbone. You wanna have a comfortable pressure at that spot. Again, sink into it. And when you're ready, you can start to roll, breathing in and out, covering a small area of just a few centimeters. If your knees don't want to move that much, you can just do even one centimeter and back up and then move the ball to where it needs to be for another round. If you can, cross your, make sure that ball rolls across your SI joints but not really far into the curve of the lower back. That's good. And then we're gonna angle the ball, moving on. We're gonna take the ball, it was placed horizontally before, and now we're gonna place it vertically. Okay, so vertically between the shoulder blades, Find some pressures, that some consistent pressure. And then you can start to rock yourself side to side. And if you want, you can just cover a small space between your spine and your shoulder blade. Or you can go all the way from shoulder blade to shoulder blade. The ball is soft. 
will not harm you as you roll across the center. You decide how much pressure to add. That's good, just rolling back and forth, side to side, using your breath to keep your movement slow, keep your muscles relaxed, letting go of any tension around your shoulders and arms. That's good. If you want to move into your shoulders and your hips a little bit, you can keep the ball vertical, angle it so that you're on a slight angle at your shoulder. Have some consistent pressure. So I'm on a 45 degree angle to the wall now with the ball at the back of my shoulder. And then you can start to move back and forth, sliding side to side, or maybe slightly turning your body, keeping that arm relaxed. Breathing in on half the movement and out on the other half of the movement. Good job. And if you wanted to do the same for your hip, you could, finding it at the side of your triangle of the tailbone, angling yourself on a 45 degree to the wall. You can place the balls vertically, or maybe you find that that's a little bit, covers too much space and you just like a single ball there, that's perfectly fine. And then you just start to move again side to side, or maybe slight to, slightly turn your body through that range, breathing in on half the movement, breathing out on the other half the movement. Working across some of those gluteal muscles that are between your tailbone and the side of your hip. Consistent pressure. Slow breathing, keeping muscles relaxed. Good job. You can try the other side if you found that helpful for the shoulders and the hips. Thanks very much for joining me. Have a great day.